The Pitt Panthers football team's gearing up for the ACC championship game tomorrow. They're playing in Charlotte, North Carolina, hoping to defeat the reigning champions, Clemson. Rich Walsh is live in Charlotte tonight with more of the Pitt fans who traveled there for the game. Rich. Well, Christine, the Panthers just wrapped up their final practice of the week here at Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte. It'll be a huge test for Pitt tomorrow in their first ever ACC championship game. Now, they beat Clemson back in 2016, and players, coaches, and fans are hoping for a repeat performance tomorrow night. Colors royal blue and athletic yellow are being noticed in downtown Charlotte. The stadium is prepped, the field is painted, and the fans are already walking the streets. You know, looking forward to a, a good a good chance to come and watch the boys play in a big game, big stage against a good team. So, no time like now, I guess, to make the trip. <laughs> Pitt is a huge underdog for this game, just like in 2016 against Clemson. So you were there for the 2016 game I against was, Clemson. I was. If you watch the video, I was the one standing pumping my fist under the field goal. You think you'll be doing that again for this game? Uh, I won't be under the field goal. I'll be in the stands this time. So, you know, it's possible. The school has sold out its ticket allotment for Saturday's ACC championship game, and former Pitt quarterback turned associate athletic director Pat Bostic can feel the buzz. I, I think so. I mean, we, we 4,500 was our allotment. Uh, we sold them all. And uh, we've got some groups coming down that are uh, making the road trip. We've got a... Uh, a plane of about 120 donors coming tomorrow, and people are fired up. It should be a great time down here in Charlotte. What's a game like this do for the university, the fan base? I think it proves that this is attainable. You know, Pitt can get back on a national stage and, and compete in these type of games. Huge task for Pitt going against a second-ranked team in the country, and they are 28-and-a-half-point underdogs in this game. Live in Charlotte, Rich Walsh, KDK-TV News.